Yes, massive. Welcome back to Reggae Dancehall Vault. And today we have the top 10 dancehall rhythms of the 90s. Yeah, man. So the top 10 dancehall rhythm of the 90s. How we went about this was a lot of things were factored in. For example, the rhythm itself. Can you listen the rhythm without no vocals and just enjoy it and it feel nice same way? Not even that alone, but how many hit songs was on this rhythm? And even if the rhythm have one or two hit songs, how about the juggling? Because you have some rhythm where them have some hit song on it, you know, but the juggling, mm, it's not too up there, you know? While you have a next rhythm where none of the song them is not a 10, but them are eight, eight and a half, and the juggling nice. So the whole of them thing yeah, play a part of how we choose this top 10. Yeah. And also longevity. If it's not a rhythm we did add for a month and a half and after that, we barely hear it. You know? And how impactful was this rhythm? So a whole heap of things to it, man. Because initially, you know, it was just top 10 rhythms of the 90s. Not dance all. Rhythms span a whole. But I realized eh, I could leave out the feeling soul rhythm with Buja Bantana say Browning. I could leave out the fresh vegetable rhythm. I love I can feel. You saw me I say so I just say you know what? Top 10 dance all rhythm. And I saw a reach you so. And even with that, I still struggle because there are so many good rhythms in the 90s. You have the Pokemon Jam, Dembo, Batty Rider, Booga Rhythm, Bada Bada, Bellias. Black Widow, yo, read him like, <laughs> me I tell you, read him like crazy way, I struggle with, but too much talking, I could get the thing started. Zane, but massive, you know, I forgot to help me out, same way, because from 8 to 10, 8, 9 and 10, a 6 song me have, and I forgot to help me choose, so I could get the thing started. Alright, number 10, this is a 3 way tie. I should even say a tie because I'm going to need you know, to help me with that one yeah, and choose because me, you can't have just 3 songs just sit down in a number 10. So, so I'm going to say help me with that one, yeah, please. The first one is the Hot Wax Rhythm, released in 1995 on the Fat label and produced by Bulby. There are other producers but you know it go. And the reason why I choose the Hot Wax is it was so impactful with Bounty Killer and Beanie Man with them song that with them have where Beanie Man has said stop living down in the past and the killer come back and say suspense and you have other hit songs for it too like Ricky General with Skettle so yeah man that's one of the rhythm them alright the next one is where I couldn't leave out of the top 10 so I'm gonna need help again so the Joy Ride Rhythm released in 1996 on the Madhouse label and produced by Dave Kelly you know much big tune up on this year rhythm yeah. Lady Saw, Sycamore Tree, Tanya Stevens, not ready for this yet. Being him on a kick up on the rhythm same way. Yeah, Frisco Kid with rubbers, enough big tune. So that is another rhythm where they'd hard for leave off. Alright, the third one is the Bug Rhythm, released in 1999, produced by Dave Kelly. Where the killer go hard with look into my eyes. Yeah man can remember when Mataran played this over upon the beach and the whole place smashed down. So massive help me with number 10. At wax, joy ride or the bug. Make we move on. Number 9. Them two rhythm ya. Them tie. Me no need no help. Me no want to split them. Me go just say them two rhythm ya tie. Bookshelf rhythm. Released in 1998. From the Kealicious label. And produced by Tony Kelly. And the rhythm we tie with is the Broke Out Rhythm. Produced by Dave Kelly from the Extra Large label. Up here it songs, it's after it's the juggling nice from the two rhythm them so I go call that one here tie, bookshelf and the broke out. Alright, number 8. Yeah man massive, me I go too far with the tie tie rhythm them but this are the last one. And them two rhythm here, first the Pepper Seed, released in 1994, produced by Dave Kelly. With songs like Big Things Are Gwan, Donovan Steele and Daddy Screw, Loving Excess, We Any Wonder, Dan Yote, Doug Ranks with Wife, Terror Fabulous with Number Two, Louis Culture with No Girl, Big Speech by Frisco Kid, Things Are Gwan, Ya yeah, Goal, Spraga Benz, Zane, so enough big tune up on the Pepper Seed, so I couldn't leave it off. And the Pepper Seed tie with another big rhythm, 
released also in 1994, The Cardi Rye, with Louis Culture as a Ganga Lee, Silver Cat as a Two Foul on my yard, Beanie Man as a Blessed and World Dance. So, them two rhythm ya, the Pepper Seed and the Cardi Rye, tie for number eight. Alright, number seven, the Playground Rhythm, released in 1997 on the Two Hard label and produced by Jeremy Hardin. With a whole heap of hit songs, including Beanie Man's biggest song, Sim Sima. So, yeah, man, Playground, number seven. Alright, number six, we have the Filthy Rhythm, released in 1998 from the Main Street label. Be a hit songs upon this rhythm, yeah, you know. Yeah, man, you have Vegas with Edzai, you have General Degree with Traffic Blocking. A peer tune, man, tune like crazy. Zane? Alright, number five, Action Rhythm. Released in 1993 from the Madhouse label and produced by Dave Kelly with one of the biggest songs of the 90s by Nadine Sutherland and Terra Fabulous Action. Buju Bantan with Love How The Girl Them Flex. We in Wanda and Louis Culture with a thing called Live and Learn. General Degree has said, Mr. Do It Nice. You have Daddy's crew has said, Muggle for you one time, man. So I pay it tune, you see me? Alright, we are move on again. So number 4, the Arab Attack Rhythm, some people call it the Slam Rhythm, released in 1995 on the Madhouse label, produced by Dave Kelly. Beanie Man killed a one day with Wickedness Slam. Zane, yeah man, another big rhythm. Alright, we're moving on again. Number 3, this is a rhythm where, come take the 90s like, like a plague may I tell you. So number 3, we have Showtime Rhythm. Released in 1997, produced by Dave Kelly from the Extra Large label. We been him and I said, me don't know the fussy them not like me. You have Bunty Killer with the eagle and the ark. Then you have Frisco Kid that same girl from the side joke the best. You have we anyone one that tear it up same way. Baby Sham, Spraga Benz, Mad Cabra, even Professor Nuts. A be a big tune up on the rhythm, man. So number three, the Showtime rhythm. Alright, we're moving on again. Number two, a rhythm called the Gigi or Mama a Rhythm, released in 1992, produced by Steely and Cleavy. Be a hit songs, man, and the juggling nice. You have Mama, you have Coca Cola back of shape, you have Wife, When I See You Smile, you have Penny Harry on it for the girl, them. A be a beer tune, be a tune, and the juggling always nice. So, number two, the Gigi Rhythm or the Mama a Rhythm, as some people call it. Well anyway, we finally get to the number one dancehall rhythm of the 90s. And for me, that is... Hey, give me a drum roll here, yeah, man. Alright, the number one dancehall rhythm of the 90s is... The Bam Bam Rhythm. Released in 1992 and produced by Sly and Rabbi. With a thing called Murder She Wrote, Chaka Demos and Pliers. You have Nado Ranks that say them a bleach. Panet come with Puni Printer. Flyers say Bam Bam. And Cutty Ranks that say wait the man. So be a big tune up on the rhythm man. The Bam Bam rhythm. Number one dance hall rhythm of the 90s. Zane. It's a massive. I know some run through the top 10 quick and fast. You know, but I could go back to number 10. Me need help right there. So the hot wax, the dry ride or the bug. Zane. Another rhythm we made like to was up close and personal. That's another big rhythm. But boy, the top 10 just hard for pick. So you don't know it going a massive. We can go back in the vault and we can forward back with the top 10 dance rhythm of the 80s. The top 10 reggae rhythm of the 80s and the 90s. Zane, so as we always say, love and love alone. <laughs> 